Many of us reach for a snack when we're hungry, but there are good snacks and then there are those that we should probably stay away from. Here are some great snack ideas for those on the go. Julie Morris, author of Superfood Snacks. How are you, Julie? I'm great. How are you, Dal? Great, thank you. What is considered a superfood? Oh, that's such a good question. There's a lot of confusion out there, but really it's very simple. Superfoods are the most nutrient-dense, benefit-rich foods found in nature. So these are the foods that give us the most nutritional bang for every caloric buck, so to speak, that we're eating. When we apply these superfoods to snacks, what we're really doing is boosting and enhancing every single snack that we're putting them into. So every single ingredient within the recipes of superfood snacks has a purpose in both form, like the taste, as well as the function, meaning the benefits, what it can do for us. You have a beautiful- so there's all different types of things. Yes, go ahead. Oh, the, just that there's all the, these different types of things that you can do with superfoods. It doesn't have to just be limited to a celery stick with a little bit of peanut butter on top. You can get really creative with these things, and that's really what Superfood Snacks is about. So I have one of my favorite recipes from the book here today. It's actually from the kids section, but <laughs> I guarantee you that adults love this one too. This is a watermelon pizza. Super fun to make. And you just basically take a round of watermelon that's cut on its side in about an inch thick slice. And then you can go to town with all these different types of accoutrements, which is where the kids come in. So I've got some kiwis right here, which kind of look like these little uh, pretty pepperonis, right? And then some macadamia nuts, which are a great source of skin healthy fats. You can use other nuts and seeds if you like. I've got some nice blueberries here, absolutely a superfood. I like to call these my brain berries because they're really, really good for your memory, thanks to all of their high antioxidants. And then one of my personal favorite superfoods are these goji berries. These are dried goji berries, and they taste a little bit like raisins, and yet they have tons of antioxidants, over 20 vitamins and minerals, fiber, protein, the list goes on and on. So you put this together, you cut it into little slices, and you have a pizza party, and it's super fun. It's fruit on top of fruit, and it looks so beautiful, and the kids will love making it, don't you think? Absolutely, they will love it. And there's all different types of snacks that you can make too. I don't want to just say that it's just for kids. I mean, do you have a sort of snack preference yourself? Well, I do, I do like chocolate though. I know in moderation, but mm -hmm. how would you incorporate that into a healthy snack? Well, I feel you on that one. Believe it or not, chocolate is a health food when it's represented in its right form, which is cacao. Cacao is where all chocolate starts, and it's incredibly high in antioxidants. I use chocolate quite a bit in superfood snacks. One of the examples is in these wonderful cookies that we have here. These are chocolate chip cookies. They taste like best ever chocolate chip cookies, I promise, and yet they also have the addition of cacao nibs as well as hemp seeds, which believe believe it or not, boosts their protein content, it boosts their fiber content, omega fatty acids, so it's truly cookies with benefits. Ooh. And for those of us, you know, if it's too warm out to bake, or if you're just really busy, I have an entire section just on energy bars and bites. And I've got some of my favorite ones from the recipe book right here. These are chocolate cherry goji bars. They have the cacao nibs in them, they have goji berries, they have walnuts, it's all good ingredients. So these are the sort of snacks where you really will feel energized while giving in, so to speak, to your cravings at the same time. Well, Julie, you are making me very hungry. It looks fabulous. Congratulations on your cookbook. Thank you so very much. All right, for more great superfood snack ideas that don't take a lot of time to make, check out Julie's book, which you can get at the website or right there on your screen. Sean?